Hey, what's going on everyone? So today we have Matthew's Prelude behind us and our goal is just to do some quick and easy track preps. track preparations. So something really easy and if you've never even worked on a car, this is very easy to do. We're just going to be adding distilled water to his radiator after draining the coolant and then adding some redline water wetter. So the goal of this is just to achieve cooler temperatures and avoid potential overheating problems. So in this video, we're just going to show you how to remove the coolant that you have how to put in the new distilled water and then mix it with a water wetter and then how to properly bleed your radiator so you don't run into issues later on. So the actual draining of the radiator is really simple. Depending on what kind of car you have, you either will have a peacock that you can remove by hand or you might need to use a wrench. It just depends on the radiator and even what model you have because some aftermarkets are different than the OEM style radiator. Make sure before you start working that you know your coolant capacity because you don't want to run too short and it's just good to know you can check like AutoZone, give them a quick call or just look online. But got to make sure you have everything ready so you can do it all at once right. And the total cost for this, so distilled water at the local markets are about a dollar per gallon. Um, I know on Matt's car, I believe it's three and a quarter gallons that he uses. And then the water wetter itself from Redline, that is I believe 12 or 13 bucks probably at your local auto parts store. So it's not, it's like under $20 for the total job. Also make sure before you start this, cause we are gonna be removing the cap on the radiator, your car has to be cool and you have to relieve the pressure from here. So if it's hot, the water will shoot out and it could burn your face. Nope. <laughs> so in Matthew's case, he does have a petcock right there that we can actually just remove by hand. Some cars will require a wrench. Some cars actually don't even have one at all. So at that point, you would have to remove the lower radiator hose and then just drain it out that way, which is that guy. In order to get the coolant out at a higher flow, you definitely want to take the radiator cap off. So make sure your car is cool and then it should just pop right off after you twist it. And there it is. Once all your coolant stops dripping out, just grab a hose and then you just want to flush out any of the old coolant you can, just something low pressure just to run it through the engine real quick. And then you'll see it start dripping out into the pan again. All right, and then once you finish flushing out the radiator, just tighten the peacock and then you're ready to start filling it. Then in Matthew's case too, he does have an overflow tank. It's really easy to find normally if you look at your radiator cap, there's usually a hose running off of it and then either to this side or that side of the engine, depends on the car. And then you just want to take that and literally just dump it out. And then just to clean it out, just hose it out again, just like we did with the radiator. Yeah, you probably have a lot of crud collected in there. Awesome. <laughs> It's a good tip just to start squeezing the radiator hose because it'll pop a lot of the air bubbles and the air will come out. Right now we've got a good amount of water in his radiator um, and we're having issues just getting the water down so what Matthew's going to do at this point is just start the engine and then once the water pump starts going it'll start pushing the water through and we'll see a lot of the air come up on its own through just the idle. He can blip the throttle a little bit to make it quicker, but it's usually not necessary. And then once it's done, we're just going to top it off and then add the water wetter. So as you can see here, as the engine is just idling, it's getting a lot of the air bubbles out on its own just by the motion of the water pump. And so right now, just to make this process a little bit quicker, I'm having Matthew sit in the car and he's just pressing the gas ever so slightly just to get the idles up so the engine and the water pump, it just makes the process a lot quicker. You can see all those air bubbles still coming out. Alright, so we got all the bubbles out. Coolant is bled, now we're just going to top it off. We're actually just going to use the entire bottle of Redline water wetter, and then should be good to go. 
Come on, you have to use a funnel all the time. You don't want any of this pink gold to go to waste. <laughs> hey, good job. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so all in all, not that hard of a job to do. Got it done probably about 30, 35 minutes and he is ready to go. Alright, as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.